What's up, you f Welcome back to a brand new video on the channel. Welcome to some Rise of Five. I know this video is going to come out actually a little later in the day than what you're expecting, but I really wanted to get the limo and I really wanted to make a video on the limo for today's video. Anyway, welcome back. And uh, do you guys want a, a meme at the start of the video? Like, like the old days? Well, here's one. Okay, hopefully you, you like that one. Anyway, um, Caddy Limo it is now in the game. We can actually get it. It is this week's uh, 20 point prize that we get for the season. Um, I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm going to do so many things to this car in today's video. I'm going to drift it. I'm going to drive it normally. I'm going to try to bring it on the Golden Toe game, which is going to be the very first thing that I want to try to do. However, it is D class, and I can't have it being D class. I mean, I have to change it. I have to do stuff to it and bring it over into a higher level. Um, I'm also not keeping this thing as a front wheel drive. It's just not staying as a front wheel drive. Um, you know what the funny thing is, though? I was thinking this myself earlier uh, when I was trying to go for this thing. Could you imagine turning this thing into a rear wheel drive? The drive shaft or drive shafts that it needs to be able to make this thing rear wheel drive. It, I don't know if it's possible to, to, to build something like that. I feel like it'd be so difficult to build something so strong to be able to push that power from the engine at the front all the way to the very rear without having like the the torque i guess uh you know having that twisting tor torque torsion i guess whatever uh morph or destroy the drive shaft that goes all the way back if you guys have ever seen anything um any like lego builds i know it's weird it's like saying the lego builds but like it, it's just something for for you to get your minds around how this works the amount of torque that goes into those pieces of Legos um, that people have created, and they twist that like one really long piece of Lego so hard, and it just keeps twisting it. So I, I think of that every time I think that I'm about to make this thing rear-wheel drive, but we are making it rear-wheel drive. It's just going to be so much more fun if we're making it rear-wheel drive. So, um, okay, this is going to handle so weirdly um, as a rear-wheel drive, but I'm going to do it anyway. I'm also going to engine swap this thing. I'm not going to have the standard engine that's in it now obviously we have a bunch of different engines available for it 1750 horsepower all going to the rear wheels or should i make this thing all wheel drive i mean it, it doesn't really matter but i kind of want to keep it rear wheel drive see what it's like um as a as a rear wheel drive the, it, the the visually we can't change anything on it as per usual pretty boring stuff there um if i want to race this thing i'm gonna put i'm gonna give it some racing tires some slick tires um, and then just sort of go for the widest ones possible. Uh, again, I'm gonna try to make this thing handle at least... Well, okay, listen, we're not gonna make this thing handle well. Um, let's not, let's not get carried away here, okay? <laughs> let's not get carried... Oh, I actually kind of like these ADVs. Wait, these look alright. I don't know why I never noticed these. These are like a new selection of wheels, aren't they? These, these ADV ones. There's like a few of them here that actually got brought into the game. I want to put these on. Um just because I, I kind of like them. Um, but yeah, there's not really much that I can change on this car, uh, visually. But yeah, we're going with six speed here. Um, come on. Oh, it's sort of laggy, this stupid menu. Uh, I'm going to buy an off-road diff because it locks it fully. We're going to need it for drifting later on, but initially I want to drive this thing down the Golden Toge. Um, drift suspension, I'm going to put that on since it's available for us to put on. And uh, again, pretty much all the other parts I'm going to just slap on here. Uh, we'll see what this is like to not not only race but also uh, drift afterwards. I will change the tires and all that after I finish racing this thing a little bit. I will also end up messing around with my tune. So initially, like I said, what I want to do is take it down to Golden Toga because I just feel like it's going to be such a fun, uh, fun place to to drive this thing. It's just going to be a absolutely useless, useless thing there because that track is so so tight. And it's so small that I feel like it'll, it, it needs to be, like the car cannot be this long. It's just impossible for the car to be able to handle well if it's, if it's this long. So, uh, we'll see. We shall see. Um, again, I'm not going to fully lock the diff, uh, when I'm, when I'm driving normally. Uh, maybe about 60% that everything else, like I said, it's got drift suspension on it. So I'm going to soften the, the ride just a little bit here. Uh, we'll see how all of this comes into play here. I especially will soften the front end. Um, yeah, but it also has a stupid amount of power, which I need to control a lot. But let's just try it like this to see what it's like. No error or anything to help me out. 
Uh, I probably should have added some, but listen, I'm, I like to live my life <laughs> on the edge. <laughs> oh god, I'm so dumb. Uh, go to my events, go to my history, it should be here somewhere. There it is, Golden Toge. Okay, let's see. If the limo can even make it down the golden target. It's not wide, so I don't think it should have a problem going through the, the little gap. Further down. But it's just everywhere else. I feel like it's going to struggle quite a bit. Oh, this is just not going to be good, is it? This is not going to be good at all. I also, as you can tell, feel quite a bit better. Uh, I'm still a little nasally. You can probably hear it in my voice, but overall it's, it's not too bad. I don't feel too bad uh, today. Okay, audio, everything's set up properly. Right, let's drive it downhill. 1,750 horsepower. Oh. Okay. I just can't floor it by the looks of things. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. The amount of boost build up and then it just sort of goes afterwards, it's, it's mad here. It's actually not bad. Oh, a little wide there. Oh, okay. I can just feel my back end just smacking it to the wall. I can see it in the mirror as well. I think my game's lagging a little bit here. It has been running for a while. Oh, it's gone. It's gone. It's gone. It's gone. It's gone. I really need to reset my game. I feel like it's going to struggle so much though. It is a little laggy. Hopefully you guys don't notice it too much. It's just the game being laggy. It's not like my connection or anything. It's just the game being... Oh god. I have a random... Like lag spikes. On slick tires, it actually isn't too bad. Oh man, it's so awkward to drive. And it's just awkward because of its power. It's it's weight, I just don't actually feel the weight behind me. The handling model or the handling physics aren't actually too bad on this thing. Oh god. Yeah, I knew that was gonna happen. I think it still has quite a significant amount of weight to it. The tires are good. Oh my god. Okay, I just have to be so careful on the power. Oh, this lag is really annoying. I have to be careful on the power here because... I cannot floor it. I can't put my foot down at all. I've given it too much power. I mean, ideally I did this just for... Whoa. Just for drifting, but I wanted to use this engine and just give it as much power as I possibly can because I don't think there's any other game that we've had so far that we've had this engine available. Oh god, for the limo. I think the fastest engine or the biggest engine that we were able to put in before was the 6.5 liter V12 from Lamborghini, which gave us, what was it, 1550 horsepower, if I remember correctly. And I saw that that was still available here now. Obviously, this one gives me over 2,000 newton meters of torque and then 1,750 uh, horsepower. It's... It's a pretty ridiculous engine. I... I'm noticing that I'm driving very, very slow. Oh, God. I'm already three minutes in. Yeah, it's a little all over the place. I think maybe the... Ugh, I think the, the arrow would probably help a little bit. But listen, it ain't doing too Oh god, it ain't doing too bad. Also, the drift suspension is probably not the best for this. I honestly expected, because it's driving on such a, a narrow track. Okay. Uh, that was clean. Okay, well, I should have floored it. Get back on before I smash the wall. Thank you. Uh... I just can't floor it. I cannot put my foot down at all. There's like a bit of turbo lag and then 
It just hits boost. It, it <laughs> that is mad. Oh god, careful now. Oh god. Careful, careful, careful. Okay. It's definitely going to be one of the slowest runs I've ever done. On this mountain pass. But like I said, its size just doesn't... I don't know. In my brain, it just—it doesn't compute how it's doing this so easily. Like going around the corners and me being so close to the corners, but I am kind of taking it quite light. Coming down the hill here, the slag also is not helping whatsoever. I'm gonna restart my game after this, um, just so it's—it's uh, it's running a bit smoother for our second run down this hill when I'm actually sliding it and trying to get some points with it. Oh god. <laughs> See what I mean? Like, the power that I put down is so hard to control. The brakes are good, the power is good, everything's nice though. Okay. That's my cornering. Done. We'll tap off the wall there at the very end. Very, very squirrely. 524. One of the slowest runs we've ever done. I mean, I didn't really build it properly for this. I just wanted to see if it would actually make it down the hill going around the Golden Toge. So I'm going to let you guys watch the exterior view of this thing for the replay. And uh, I guess I'll be, I'll be back.
Right. I really hope you guys watched that replay because I just realized how impressive it was. Yes, my throttle is like not an off switch. Um, <laughs> it was hard to put the power down. If I was to do it again, and if I was to build this thing again, I'd probably make it all-wheel drive and not put that engine in it, put something that's a little less powerful. But it's impressive. It's impressive how well it moves down the hill, and the amount of times I got so close to the wall, it's it's pretty mad. Without actually, like, hitting it, obviously. Um, but that was pretty ridiculous. Now, what I want to do is change my tire compound, because I don't want to have super sticky uh, tires like that. I'm going to put snow tires on it instead. And uh, we're now gone all the way down into A class. But now I'm going to slide this thing. I want to see how big is it for this Cara Este drift zone going sideways. Because obviously, what we've just seen there is this thing going mostly straight uh, down the hill, the same hill, with uh, it made kind of narrower. The the road basically being much narrower than the than normal. Uh, but now let's uh, let's try something different. Let's try see what it's like going sideways. Okay, I also wanted to paint it a different color, and I think this is the perfect color for this thing. Um. <laughs> it's like, like a weird pink with flakes in it. Oh, God. It's the Hot Wheels paint. Oh, my God. Right, this is definitely going to stand out a lot more than what I've had in mind, but sure, who cares? You know what I mean? It's not like it was very subtle before. Jesus. Oh, man. I mean, it's slideable, but, like, it takes about 10 minutes to, to actually pick up speed and go forward. I may honestly have to make this all-wheel drive. It's so slow. Like, by the time it picks up speed and goes, it's so incredibly slow. Come on. Look how slow it is going behind it. The Fiesta just driving up this. Or maybe I have to give it some stickier tires. Maybe the... Oh, I don't even know, man. I thought the snow tires would be good. I think it's just too slow with the snow tires. All right, one sec. Let me, let me hop back into my garage again and change it to something stickier. Um, those racing tires that I had on before, I mean, like, they were fine. They would push me pretty well, even when I was going sideways, but these ones, I just don't see it. Like, what's my grip? Like, my grip compared to those is much higher there. Um, so I need it to compare it to this. I need, maybe drift tire compound is actually going to be a good compound for, for this car. Like, my launcher goes down, my handy goes up slightly. Uh, what's my G-forces set to 0 0.92, 0 0.98, and 0.97? Obviously, these go over 1. Yeah, it's like struggling. Even top speed is limited because of those disgusting tires. I'm actually going to try. If I put drag tire compound, it's, it's going to be even worse. It's going to be much, much worse. I'm actually going to try drift tire compound. I think it might actually be useful. Um, I even gave it the widest possible tires at the back. It's this engine, man. This engine is putting out so much power. That's probably the weight of it as well that's just being so... not good for this thing. Wait, how much does it actually weigh again? I wasn't paying attention. How much is the weight of this thing? 1.9 tons. I mean, power to weight ratio, it shouldn't be that bad. Maybe it's just because it has all the weight in front of those wheels. It has to push so much weight. Because it's so long. Okay, this is much better already. I can. I can already tell. It just has better grip. I thought about these uh, these gear ratios though, so I might have to change these slightly. 
it just means that I won't be able to slide around too much in uh, in the gears that I, I should be. Um, it's just the way this, this thing is set up. Right, let's take it downhill. Enough talk and enough building. Let's uh, let's slide this thing properly and see what it's like. All right, let's go. Come on, easy does it. Come on. It's a big, it's a big ship. This. How much does it cover up? It pretty much covers up the entire road. Tiny bit at, at each end. Tiny bit at each end. A little bit on the ice there, but that's okay. Come on. I need to try to get used to it as well. It changes direction so slowly. I mean, I've had worse. I've had worse, but the sheer size of it, like, the amount that has to push along is so dumb. <laughs> oh, it's dumb. Is it driftable? Oh, 100% it is. It was in previous games and it is capable now. What a mess. Okay, here we go. Well, it looks like fourth is the way to go. Fourth and fifth, maybe. Just don't put it into six, because I realize it, it wants to die. <laughs> if I put it in sixth. Even in fourth, really low speeds. It really doesn't like it. There's like a huge, huge amount of like turbo lag or whatever it is. Oh, the car just really doesn't like it. As soon as it drops along the revs, in fourth, it's, uh, it's not having a good time. So keep it passing behind the revs. Come on, I need lots of speed here. Big angle. Big angle to initiate. Come on. Get yourself sideways. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, I spun it. No. Oh my god. I lost the first corner. I need to, like, I'm trying to slow down here. Oh god. I tried to slow down a little bit. But the back started to overtake the front. I was jackknifing the... <laughs> I was jackknifing the limo. Oh my god. Come on. There you go. That's what I want. Keep it up in the revs. All the power. <laughs> this is so dumb. I mean, handling-wise, it's not too bad. Like, I can hold good angle with it and everything. I mean, drift suspension is doing its job. It's just, it's... All of that weight that this thing has, it's so far ahead, if that makes sense. Of where the wheels are. It's like if you think about it on a normal car, right? When it's rear-wheel drive and it just has to push the weight along and it has to push its back out and stuff like that. That's perfectly fine, you know, on a normal car. And this thing being so long, it just acts differently. It's so much more sluggish and weird to change direction. It doesn't feel normal, obviously. But it's definitely... I've definitely driven many worse cars than this. And this is still doing a significantly better job like, than like some of the cars that I've driven on this. Yeah, it's, it's, not, it's not that bad. Who's going up here? Alright, mate. 
wonder what these guys are thinking. Seeing these big hot dog go down. Big glizzy. Big sparkling glizzy sliding down the hill. Taking up literally the entire road. Let's see what this light is like. This is usually messes with some cars. Yeah, absolutely zero issue with this thing. It has the power there. It's just until it's able to put it down on the ground. It's, I love it as well that I'm mostly on the road every single time. It doesn't matter if my rear wheels are off. Oh no. I almost fully stalled it there. Um, even though I'm mostly fully off, uh, or with my rear wheels being fully off, I'm still mostly on the road with this thing. So it'll continue to get points whenever and wherever. I think this is easy one no points. Very, very easy. And I think as an all-wheel drive, maybe it could do even better. I could probably even hold more angle with it as well. And with all-wheel drive, I think I can give it the snow tires or even drag tires. And have enough grip to be able to pull myself and yeah, basically pull myself because that's that's where the okay. That's where the extra grip goes. It goes up in the front. Uh, as an all-wheel drive, but I'll have the extra grip to not only push, but also pull myself along. Oh my god, it's so- why is it so bad here at the very end? Yeah, there we go. I'm just gonna ease up on the angle. I was giving it way too much angle, I don't know why. And that's it. One mil. Very easy with it. That's just a strange thing to drive. Super weird. Get it yourselves if you want to try it. It's pretty much free. You just go and get it on the um, you know, through the festival playlist or on the auction house if you don't want to do that. But it's 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 a weird thing to drive, man. It's very weird. Well, that's it for today's video. Thank you for watching, everybody. Hopefully, you enjoyed it. If you want to see more videos like this on the channel, then of course subscribe, like this video. Show your support, and uh, yeah, I'll speak to you guys later. Goodbye, everyone.